Hey there, it's David Davis from virtualizationsoftware.com and I wanted to show you real quickly how to download the latest, at this time at least, VMware vRealize Operations Manager version 6.0.2 and actually deploy it inside VMware Fusion. It's really not hard to do at all and it's a great way to learn about vRealize operations and run it in a little lab environment. Of course, if you're deploying it inside Fusion, it's likely you don't have a lot of virtual infrastructure inside Fusion for vRealize Operations Manager to actually monitor. So you might not have a lot of data to pull in, but that's fine because you don't want to use a lot of resources inside your Mac desktop or laptop computer anyway. Point being, it's super easy to download the OVA virtual appliance right here. It's about 1.6 gigs. I've actually already done that. You'll just need a free VMware.com username and password to do it. And then, of course, you can run it in evaluation mode. So once you've downloaded vRealize operations to bring it into Fusion, you just go down to import. You don't want to go to open because you won't be able to open up an OVA. You'll need to go to import here. And then I've actually already tested this once, so I don't have to choose the file and browse to it, which I actually have over here in my downloads. I don't need to do that because I've already done it once and it's a recent item. So I've got it selected there. I'll click continue. And then it'll prompt me to create a new virtual machine here with the default name based on the OVA that I downloaded, which is just fine. We'll accept the end user license agreement. And then we get this little warning about how the import failed. That's because this OVA wasn't designed to be imported into VMware Fusion. Of course, you could run an ESXi host inside Fusion and then import vRealize Operations Manager into the ESXi host or into vSphere. But if I'm running a virtual lab using Fusion, I actually prefer to run it as a standalone virtual machine. That way I have a little bit more control over it inside VMware Fusion. So I'm just going to click retry. Even though it failed, we can still retry. And I'll tell you, the second time it works just fine. Let's give it just a second. And success. We successfully deployed vRealize Operations Manager inside Fusion. I'm going to customize my settings because I need to connect the network adapter to my custom private VMNet2 down here. I also need to tweak the amount of memory that the virtual appliance uses by default. I'm going to use 8 gigs instead of 16 gigs because I'll tell you my iMac has 32 gigs and as you can see over here on the left I've got five other virtual machines running as well and those use a lot of memory. So I'm going to tweak this down to 8 gigs and as far as I can tell vRealize Operations Manager still runs just fine. So with VROps deployed and configured I'll click play and we'll power it on. And then from here it's just the standard vRealize Operations Manager installation which I'll step you through very quickly and perhaps fast forward at a few parts. As you can see, VROps has successfully booted here, and we have an IP address. Notice it is 192.168.0.146. That's via DHCP in my lab environment, so your IP address will be different. But with that IP address, you can point your web browser to the VROps administrative console, and then connect VROps to your vCenter server. In fact, let's do that right now. I'm going to go over to a virtual machine that's in this lab environment. Let's go full screen. We'll open up a new tab. Go to that IP address. Accept the security warning. And then from here we can use the express installation, which is what I used last time when I tested this. And you can see what we're doing here is to create a new vRealize Operations Manager cluster with this node as the master node. I'll click Next. I'll enter a new password for vRealize Operations Manager. Notice the default username is admin. Click Next, Finish. It prepares vRealize Operations for first use. And now it says congratulations on setting up vRealize Operations Manager. We're going to enter the admin username and the new password that we created. And then from here we can choose the configuration type. This is going to be a brand new environment. We'll click Next, accept the end user license agreement. We can take the default 
product evaluation mode where no key is required and then we're ready to complete the configuration. And here we are inside vRealize Operations Manager. This is the Administration Solutions tab. And here what we need to do is to configure the VMware vSphere solution, which is going to allow us to pull information from our vCenter server. So for the display name, I'm just going to type vCenter. And then the basic settings, in this case, I'm going to use an IP address. And then I'm going to create some new credentials these are going to be called vCenter admin and the username is going to be our administrator at vSphere.local username and then the password that's associated with that. We've added those credentials and then you can't see the save button down here. So I'm going to make this a full screen window. There we go. So that you can see the save settings button. We'll say OK. From here we can click next. Take the default monitoring goals and click finish. At this point, we've connected vRealize Operations Manager to vCenter. We can go to the home screen and vROps has just barely started pulling data from our vCenter server. So we don't have a lot of data here to analyze. But for example, if we go into our vSphere host overview, you can see I do have an HADRS cluster one. I also have an ESXi host here, ESX1. I can click and get details on that host. If we go back to the home screen, we can scroll to the right. We can see our vSphere data stores. And as of yet, we don't have a lot of data here on the heat map, but we are collecting data. And very quickly, our new vRealize Operations Manager management console here will be updated and ready for use. So that's it. That's how you download and deploy vRealize Operations 6 into VMware Fusion as a virtual machine using the OVA virtual appliance format to run vRealize Operations Manager 6 in a VMware Fusion lab environment. For more information on VMware vSphere management, check out my blog, virtualizationsoftware.com, as well as the VMware Cloud Management blog over at blogs.vmware.com management. Thanks for watching.